what we've been doing is taking CAT scans, which most people know what that is, and they're very frequently done now, and taking the unique data that comes from a CAT scan, which is uh, very detailed. It's a group of x-ray slices uh, that, that the average person couldn't make sense out of. And taking all that information that we got, put it all together with computers and generate uh, essentially a model that anybody can understand. When we're treating aneurysms, arteries curve a lot, they angle a lot, they're very complex. And as a result, when it comes to treating a type of pathology, we can optimize what device we're going to select, how long it's going to be, what the best technique is uh, for that particular patient, um, and come up with patient-specific solutions. This particular patient uh, was probably the first one where we did the model in advance to show the individual what his pathology was. And it was a pretty interesting experience, I think, both for the patient and for me. And actually, in your, in your case, you can see this main artery here. There should, should be three arteries here, but one of them's already gone because probably at some point you have sent a silent embolus. It's really simple. And it explains, and I, I think this, this sort of uh, medicine is so important to people who go home and they can't explain to their families what's wrong with them. For a patient to hold a three-dimensional model of their leg or their abdomen or their whatever it is with an aneurysm or a blockage or a bad heart valve or whatever it might be, um, is very impactful, I think, in the patient really understanding what their problem is and why they need to be treated. So I think it's going to offer a lot of potential for improving patient care in that way.